Oh, hi there. I was just reading one of my favorite books. Calculus. Calculus is a wonderful subject. All those formulas, expressions, and variables this brings me to our lesson today on the E. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What, what is this? This looks like Mystery Science Theater circa 1980. No. We're not going to do this. No. We're going to start this thing off. We're going to do it my way. E. What is it? Well, for starters, it's a mathematical constant. Okay, let's see how many digits of E the average target employee knows. So how many digits of E do you know? Uh, 2.7? 2.7182. 2.7182. Yeah, that's right. 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2.7182, 2
is that it is in the invert of natural logs. For example, e to the natural log of x is equal to x, and the natural log of e to the x is also equal to x. One of the unique things about the graph of e to the x is that the position, slope, and acceleration of the function are all equal to each other. In other words, each y paired to each x is the same for e to the x's position, velocity, and acceleration. Alright, we're just about done here. Time to wrap things up with a little bit of e trivia. Google, the search engine we all know and love, once put up a billboard in Silicon Valley, California that read, the first 10 digit prime in e dot com. Upon going to this website, you found another math-related problem, and then after finding the, going through the link on that, you would, bring, you would bring you up to a place in Google Labs where you could fill out a resume for them and work for them. Talk about prerequisites. Well, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you all next year.